Welcome to Vital Outdoors TV. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie your own worm harnesses. Now, you can use this to tie your own or to repair ones that have been damaged. So what you're going to need for this is some 12 pound fluorocarbon fishing line, your blade, some beads, a blade clevis, two hooks, a pair of scissors, and a swivel. Now you're going to cut about a three to four foot piece of your fluorocarbon line and then tie a snell knot. So to do the snell knot, you stick your line through the eye of your hook and put about an inch extra at the end. You then wrap your line around eight to ten times. and pull it up. Make sure it's all nice and tight. Then you take the other end of your line and stick it back through the bottom of the eye of the hook. And pull that all nice and tight. So that's your snell knot. That's the first knot you tie on there to get the first hook on. Then you go and you grab your second hook. You're going to do the exact same thing with this one. You take and put your line through. And pull it so it's about two to four inches above your last hook. You're going to tie the exact same knot and then stick your line back through. And you're done tying your knots. Now it's the fun part, you get to decide your colors. So now you got to tie on your beads. You're going to take your beads, put them on one at a time. Now this is the fun part because you get to decide what colors you're going to use to attract your fish. Today I'm going to use a lemon lime colored. Then you use five to seven beads on your worm harnesses so it gives it a nice size profile and keeps the blade from hitting the hook. Okay, I put six beads on there. Now I'm going to take and put on the blade. So to do this, I'm using the clevises. You can get the quick attach clevises which are really nice because you can switch your blades in and out. So what you want to do is take that and put your blade on it. Then you stick the line through both holes on there. So it's like this. And once it's down at the end, you gotta make sure it's facing the right way, which it is. Then you're gonna take your last bead and stick it on. Now you're gonna take your swivel and tie that on your line with a normal clinch knot or any other fishing knot.
Now once that's tied up, you're ready to go hit the water and catch some walleye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos.